Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jimmy Brooks. Thanks for stopping into the channel. I want to make a quick little video on uh, my opinion. Uh, is the CRF 300L fast? Um, you know, obviously that's mildly clickbaity. Everyone knows it's not going to be fast. It's not a leader bike in the dirt or anything. So, <laughs> but uh, you know, for in, um, what's, it, what's it called? In, uh, you know, everything's relative. So in the dirt, if you're not, you, you know, if you've owned, only owned 250, dual sports i'm gonna go ahead and sum this up and say uh, it's kind of fast in the dirt honestly like if you've never ridden 450 dirt bikes and you've just come from you know the dr 200 yamaha xt 250 tw 200 klx 230 250 that whole that whole thing um you know this is a, a lot closer to drz 400 so yeah if you're used to those smaller displacements in the in the dirt here uh yeah man it kicks ass it's it's pretty it's pretty sprightly and uh, on the pavement, no, it's not. Um, I'll give you some examples. Uh, I have my tire pressures a little lower here for the dirt. I like the traction. I'm willing to, you know, sacrifice the uh, on-road manners a little bit. And uh, you know, it's a little sluggish um, throughout the city, but man, it's so much better than like uh, 250s and below, which, in my opinion, are pretty unrideable. Um, I mean, I don't want to say unrideable. You could do it. I mean, you could ride a motorized bicycle on, in the city if you need to, <laughs> but. Uh, you know for my taste this is like bare minimum like okay this could be a street bike this this works as a street bike it has the horsepower to to you know merge with people you're not going to be, be in people's way pulling out so uh it's, it's good enough but yeah dirt is much better um anyway enough babbling let's get on the back here and see what it's all about uh, oh i gotta show you this travesty here so this was my riding spot, right? In my first video, if anybody saw the the actual first ride review of this bike, this was my riding spot. It was beautiful. It had so many trails. Literally the next day, they started construction on a church here. Oh man, that, what a, man. That's a bummer. That's a huge bummer. These were some gnarly trails. Uh, go look at my XT250 you know keeping up with dirt bikes or motocross dudes that video that's that's a good representation of like what we were able to do out here with all these jumps and trails and uh yeah you can't really can't really do too much of that here with it but it's only half it's only half we still got this half it's not as good as that half that half was better but we still have this half so we'll explore this a little bit and see if if we can mosey around the dirt This is where I almost fell last time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Flies like a pig. <laughs> You know, not even full, I'm still breaking this bike in. I hardly really give it full throttle per se. And uh, man, yeah, it moseys here. In the dirt, it's just got this big old, big old honking torque that you don't, you just don't feel in the city. But man, in the dirt here, it is, it's got the juice. The gearing is just long enough to where I have to go this in second and not third. Got it. Uh, oh, I know. Let's go back down this way.
All right, real quick side tangent. I want to show you guys something I learned. It's this little 90 degree stop and stop and go. All right, check this out. So with the rear brake, you get 90 degrees, and then uh, you do the other the other amount with um, engine. <laughs> that is fun. Excuse my form there. I'm new. I'm new to all this uh, trickery on dirt bikes. These dual, or what is it called? These adventure bike skills, as people like to put on YouTube. So, here, I'll try again here. 90 and 90. We go 90. Ah, a little slippery. <laughs> a little slippery. Here, let's try it right here. All right, go 90. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> All right, one more time. We got this. Come on. I know I'm going to get this. I keep overshooting it. Here we go. Break. And then, yeah. <laughs> what a nice turnaround. All right, let's try that one more time. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Whoop. Yeah. Now, I'll be darned if that's not the most fun way to turn around. Let's try it here. Yes, that was perfect. There we go. See, I gotta stop gunning it. See, just a little bit. Doesn't take much. There we go, here we go, look at this. Ha ha! <laughs> there you go. I have practiced on camera. Practice makes perfect. All right, so, as you can see, in the dirt, you know, we're moving. We are moving. You know, six gear, half throttle, maintaining 50 up a hill. <laughs> Woo, dragging that rear brake. But once you get on the street here, <laughs> it seems so lackluster. Like it does the job, but it's it's not so crazy. Dirt warps your perception of how fast you're going. Or maybe it's the other way around. I think street warps your perception of how fast you're going. But here we go. This is like best case scenario acceleration. Like, see, it'll do it, especially down this slight hill like that. It'll get up to speed nicely. But the main thing is you could just, right in the dirt. And that is what dual sporting is all about. Let's go find the next patch of dirt. Ooh, lots of rocks. Here's my secret entrance. Should we go in the secret entrance? Because there's been cops around here lately. So, let's go in this way and scope it out. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, who did this? Jesus Christ.
Well, let's not go out that way. Looks nice and clear over here. There we go. Last example of the dirt acceleration. Something about it, man. Something about the dirt makes it feel like a pretty quick bike. <sighs> Woo. Yeah, it's fun. I think that's the only thing that matters, right? This bike is fun. If you can get one, especially a sticker, get it. Dude, people have been dumping their trash here. What is going on? It's messed up. Anyway, that's gonna be the video for today. I uh, hope you guys liked it. You know, I know it was kind of a funny uh, topic. Is it fast? You know, it's a 300. <laughs> but for a 300, it is damn fun. So. Talk to all of you guys next time. See ya.